Hi guys, um, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This video is regarding threading. Why not share with you my way of um, doing threading at home? Um, I always wear a hairband, so I'm taking all of my hair back that's on like around my hairline. I also make sure that I'm not wearing any moisturizer. So the thread that I will be using is the Vanity Threading Thread and this is 100% cotton and also has antibacterial coat. Next, um, I will also be using, right at the end, is the aloe vera gel. This is the one that I use and I find it really good for the face. Uh, scissors and this is for um, trimming your hair. First, with the thread, um, this is something that I would say is quite person specific. Say you don't have it too long because the longer you have it, um, when you are plucking, like as in pulling the hair with a thread, it I feel like you can't get enough precision when it's too wide, like the thread is too big. Um, you, I would recommend it to be somewhere in between because when you have it too small, you can't like pull your fingers apart too much, which makes it difficult to pull the hairs apart. Make the actual loop of the thread. So grab your thread. Um, I tend to, I'll show you roughly how much I use. Actually probably just over 30 centimeters long. Um, and then when you fold it together, you will have something around 15 to 20 centimeters, I would say this is. So when you bring it together, what I tend to do is, if you're an expert at doing professional knots, then good for you. <laughs> I can't so what I do is I literally just um, spin both of it both of the ends together and then I wrap that around my finger like so so I don't know if you can see wrap it around my finger and then I twist whilst I'm twisting I bring the end of the thread through and then when I pull it back you end up with a knot that's like this basically thing so you open it up now so you've got this loop so you've got essentially a loop that you've created first I'm just going to show you the motion so I won't actually do it so open it wide like this with both your hands now remove all of your fingers besides your thumb and your index finger okay I want you to now twist it clockwise so you twist one hand clockwise so keep going and I would say do roughly around nine ten yeah ten twists and that just gives you a firm amount of twist in the middle so do you see like the denseness that's in the middle now step one will be just working out how to actually do the motion before you actually go onto your own face if you have somebody else that you're living with I would say do not try this on your face first try it on your leg because once you grasp the technique you'll then be able to go to like a big area so you could probably go like to the side of your face once you've um, mastered that then you can go to your upper lips and then your forehead and then you can come closer to your eyebrows I will show you how I do my eyebrows live on hair um, but let's just go through the technique so now that we've got it in the twist which is like this I usually have it so I have all of my fingers inside besides my pinkies they're out and the ones that control the exact amount that I'm opening is mostly my index finger and my thumb so I'm just going to show you what it the motion looks like so you're literally pulling one side and then you let it go again pulling one side and let it go that direction you'll be able to pull them out if you're trying to remove a hair on this side then you can use this side does that make sense so essentially your hair is here when you your hair is here if you open this side your hair is on this side when you pull, you're pulling all the hairs that are over here. I don't know if that makes any sense to you guys. <laughs> but um, I'm going to actually show you on me because I think that might be easier. And I'll start with um, just doing an area on my um, upper lip. Okay, so I'm going to try and remove a few hairs in this area. 
Now remember when you're, every time you thread, you need to tighten that skin and to do that you can, one, pull, um, put your, push your tongue out underneath the skin that's around here. So, essentially doing that motion. Now remember how I showed you, if we do it this way, it will pull the hairs that are on this side. And if we pull it this way, it will pull the hairs that are on this side. So now that we want to um, target the hairs in this area, I won't be able to talk because I'm going to put my tongue underneath, but I'm going to be moving my hand in, I'm going to be opening the thread with this hand. So. Okay, so we're going to do this area here. So that's just done this bit here. Now I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows and how I would shape it at home. So first I would get like a, get cut out a small piece of thread and then put some black sort of, um, I put liquid liner on there so that I've got, I can do a marking. Now when you're shaping your eyebrows, the end of your, um, where your nostril is, that should be in line with where your eyebrow starts. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I literally just get the thread and mark it down like that. So I've got a line there to indicate where my eyebrow should start. And then the end of your line here where your eyebrow are arches, that should be in line with the end of the corner, the outer corner of your eye and also the from the, the beginning point should be from where your outer part of your nostril is as well. So literally your line should be like that. And if I mark it again, it sh it's there. So that's where my um, eyebrow should end. Now the tip of where my point should be, that will also, basically the thread needs to go from the end of your nostril through the middle of your eye and then to the tip. Okay, so that's where the tip of my um, arc should be. Put in that wherever you want to pull your hair from, or remove your hair should I say, the opening part of the thread, which is this part here, should be exactly where you want to pull your hair. The bottom line here, so say if I'm pulling my hair from this side, I will use the bottom of this thread to line how far I want to pull the hair. So I'm not going to do it like this, obviously, because even though that's the tip, if the hair pulls in that motion, it's going to take it out this way. So because I want to create a straight line here, I would first comb my hairs down so I know that they're out of the way. And then using the thread, I will line exactly where I want to remove the hair which is there and then I would do the opening motion and you kind of just keep going okay classic so my thread snapped there guys and that's totally normal literally just get a new thread Create the loop again. And then twist, 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 twist. Open. Now get your marking again. And then you remove. So really start here and as you can see there I've got a few hairs that are growing there so to remove that I will once again if you notice guys I'm creating exactly where I want to um, take the hair from with this point here 
and I'm lining it by making sure the last end of the thread is straight. So do you see how that's straight in line with that? Now, if I open the thread, it will only remove the hairs that I've targeted in that area. Now I'm going to swap hands and do it the other way around. Because I can maneuver a bit more better that way. Again, you should comb your hairs. Make sure they're all going in the direction that you want them to. And then you need to lift. You need to stretch your eye as much as you can naturally with your with raising your eyebrow so do you see and that stretches this area here the skin on your eyelid is very very soft so you need to make sure that you're doing this very carefully and you're doing it slowly um, the reason why I do not approve of um, constantly plucking your eyebrows is because it damages the follicles in this area and then eventually over time you will realize that the hair doesn't actually grow as thick and as much as it previously did. So I'm um, just going to show you this. So I'm lining and I'm threading. This is if you're doing it on yourself. Like if you have somebody else there for you, then you can pull your own eyebrow skin and stretch it like that. But because when you're doing it on yourself, you don't have that availability you literally have to stretch your skin yourself as much as you can and then hover where the hairs are so when you do this area I don't like to put the thread directly onto the skin like that I kind of hover find the hairs and then I remove it so I'll just show you how I do my um, arc so And guys, it's not painful. Like, I know we all worry thinking, oh my God, it's gonna be so painful. It's super painful when somebody else does it. When you're doing it, you're in control. So I feel like the pain is less. In and wipe any excess hairs. I'm gonna show you how I trim just these bits here because they're a bit too long. Perfect. I like my eyebrows quite fluffy so I don't like to them, um, cut them down too short but um, that's basically that. Guys, I hope you found that helpful and um, you can learn to do this on yourself and um, if not yourself you can do it on actually if you've got your mum with you your sister sister-in-law and um, anyone so um yeah i really hope that this will help you through this isolation and in self-grooming but um yeah i've done both of my eyebrows and everything's looking nice and clean now so thank you so much for following guys and watching this to the end um Please do do subscribe to my channel and um, give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed watching it and comment below any more suggestions that you may have. Thank you. Bye.